What are you? Uh, hey, we're here to, I guess, yeah. tell you that CardKingdom.com has everything oh. you need for double masters up for order now. Perfect. Yeah, CardKingdom.com. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome back to the episode of Single Scoop. So, uh, we recently got tired of getting stomped out. Funny enough, that I'm using stomped uh, because I'm playing a giant deck. We got tired of getting stomped out by angels. It's hard playing a creature deck when Angels just gains so much life and is able to get such big bodies so fast. So we wanted to play Giants because on stream, somebody had mentioned Quakebringer. So I was like, well, let's play Quakebringer and let's make a deck around Quakebringer. So what better than to turn it into a giant tribal deck? So, of course, it's got the staples like Beige of Giants, you know, Battle of Frost and Fire, Squash, Calamity Bear. But again, Quakebringer being relevant here because it's a five mana, which you could get on turn four when you foretell it, but your opponents can't gain. You still can. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, this deals or uh, Quakebringer deals two damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only if Quakebringer's on the battlefield or if Quakebringer's in your graveyard and you control a giant. So uh, the fact that this is five mana is actually probably the best thing about it, as opposed to, let's say, uh, a Roiling Vortex or Ferocidon, because they can't just simply Skyclave Appetite or Apparition Appetizer. I don't remember. I've called it Appetizer for so long. Uh, cause it, it can't get targeted because it's a five drop. Whereas Skyclave appetizer is a, it only exiles four or less. So this can sit on the board and stay and be a body and burn the opponents constantly lowering the opponents. Of course, if the opponent's able to get their cocoa and their health total higher, uh, than like, you know, turn four, then you're in trouble, but this is our best bet and pretty sweet to play a giant deck. So let's see how we do on the ladder. I like, oh my God, this is the most esports ready hand. As long as I don't get thought seized here. Uh, uh, what, what happens? What happens? Oh, oh, we're getting thought seized. My favorite part about Magic the Gathering is that when I get to get thought seized on turn one and like, here's my favorite thing, everyone watching. I like to treat Mag like Explorer or any format with thought seized as like, you automatically always mulligan. There's always one mulligan because you always be down a card. So when you play against a black based deck, you just have to essentially ask yourself, is this a good six? Is this a good six? So if, if Thoughtseize is in your format, just ask yourself, is it a good six? I mean, I'm going to play it. Like, I, I don't care. Like, And yeah, you have to ask, is it a good six without my best card? For sure. You know, like, can I do the thing? I like to play Magic the Gathering. Can I do that? You know, that that's, that's the question. Well, opponent's about to have a big problem. Uh, it, and it's it's nothing actually. They're about to just remove this pretty easily. <laughs> they're mono. They're they're Golgari, so They probably play like every form of removal, right? Oh, we're getting fatal smushed. Oh, and no joke. If you'll have seen my streams, my videos, I don't mulligan against Thoughtseize decks. I just keep all lands. I just keep all lands because it's easier that way. Because I know no matter what, I'm just gonna get bodied. I'm just gonna get bodied. Uh-huh. I mean, it's very apparent that they've got, like, Invoke Despair, right? Oh, is that a... What? Okay, for sure. I don't even know what that does, to be honest with you. Oh, this does the thing. This does the thing. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Alright. Ha ha ha! Surprise! It flies! It's me, your boy Dio! Back at it again! Taste it, Vivian! Nobody ever plays around Thrix. Okay, well, you could have that. <laughs> you could definitely have that. All right, go ahead. Uh, I, I hope we draw a Tectonic Giant. Because we, we need to uh, do things. Some fries! <laughs> oh, there's, this reminds me. I need to watch the return of Dexter, the TV show. And when they try to get rid of it, you know what's coming back. You know what's coming back. Oh, how the turns have tabled, my opponent. My sweet opponent. And so far, my favorite contribution to Magic the Gathering is drawing every land. I, that's great for one person. Pop off, pop off. I mean, I, I might just die to the 3-3, three, three, but you know what? Oh, they didn't want to take that. That tells me something. All right, we'll get rid of your fatal smush. We're going to try to punch Soren. Now that's a gamer ready hand. 
That's a Magic the Gathering card from Premier Card Game Magic the Gathering, ages 13 plus. Now we play that. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay, I do worry though because they've shown me that they kept something on top. That obviously is not great news for me, but you know, what am I going to do about that? I think this might be the Meatball Massacre. Just kidding. No, it's not. Take two and taste it. Let me taste it. Yes. We're just casually trying to do a little bit of damage, a little off the top. That's all. Also, I think we win the game if we, we get a turn back and they don't have something here. Beseju, you got it. I highly recommend. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll Fatal Smush to save a little bit of health here. Why not? They're gonna take two. You have to have something right now or you're dead. All right. Wait, wait, wait. To any target, that's you, right? Okay, cool. So they gain two back. All right, I pass again. Let's see if they thought sneeze. Tireless tracker, that's exactly the news I want. As always, let me show you the rotation. First off, the rotation is you let them know, you, you put them at ease, you worry too much, then you give them the stare down, like when someone gets dunked in the NBA, then you chuckle, then you drop the mic. That's the rotation, that's the emoting rotation. That's the emoting rotation. I believe I just uh, legendary parsed that. That was a orange parser. We got it. Mr. Streamer, you're so toxic for using an in-game feature. Oh! Opponent is just creating their rotation right now. Uh, that's why they're tanking. They're like trying to figure it out. It's like, okay, is it better to GG first? Crying emoji, good game, grab a leg, and then Oko emote. Give them the kiss as we tuck them in. Remember on this day, we channeled big deck energy. Oh, laughing beholder, another good rotation, uh, part of the rotation. And and for those watching, this is not a salt rope. They are just trying to figure out their, their emoting rotation, which I respect. If you've played an MMO, you've played World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy 14, you know, your rotation's important and the opponent's trying to figure that out right now. Maybe we can help them. I think, I think like if you want to start the rotation off, you always go with nice. But if you get the insta, like the insta like exploding portrait, you have to APM game. So that means you have to make sure you hit oops before they they leave the game. I think oops is the best thing you can do when, when you get the snap uh, exploding a portrait. But then if they're, if they're doing this, you get to like, you know, you get to say good game. I think that's pretty, pretty courteous. Then you let, you comfort them. You worry too much. So it brings their salt level back down. But then you're like, just kidding. You hit them with the beholder remote. And then because they've DC'd, boom, right there. Let them taste two more. There it is. You stare them down like the dunk. You let them know with the angry objection, you know, Ace Attorney bird emote. Then you chuckle and then you end with the mic drop. You don't, I, I, I you know, maybe the fact that I don't have macros makes me a noob. I should just have a macro that kind of just auto does it. But I, I think we, we did it. I think that was a good rotation. So, but then like, if you're looking for a burst window, again, like AKA when the opponent insta concedes, oops is the best. There's also just hello at the very end. I'll keep, this seems, Playable, I guess. I mean, I have removal. The whole hand is so clunky as the whole deck is, so I think I just rely on the early interaction. Bone Crusher Giant is like probably the only reason why this deck works. Opponent has they mulligan down to six here. I'm hoping that I don't get completely bodied by some absurd like low drop. Oh no, this is bad. I think that has to die instantly, right? Anytime that's around, I feel like that card has to die instantly. Alters my game plan, but whatever. All right, it's, so it's Priest of Forgotten Gods. Is this something I'm gonna wanna play against my Weathered Runestone? They can't, I don't know, Umpany or something like that? Is that happening? I don't know. All right, let's just do this now. Let's make them discard a card and shock this. Let's keep them low on cards. Unless, of course, they have a Sack Outlet card or whatever, Village right. All right, so they're Jund. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this will be good. Weathered Runestone will probably be decent. Okay. I think I'm gonna play Calamity Bearer and pass. Because Calamity Bearer allows me to then have a body anyways that's gonna be hard on them. They're gonna probably be looking for a land. Now the only punish is if they have a collected company, then this is just doing nothing. All right, so they do play collected company. Does it tell me what they put in a hand? Demonic Bargain though, that's something I haven't thought about in a while or even expected to see play. Part into your hand, so what is it? I mean, I think it's definitely Collected Company, right? Or a land. Okay, so it's a land. 
Enters tap. Let's go play Weathered Runestone. Let's get to combat. Uh, pass? They probably grab Collected Company. Perfect. Pop off. And I think we're gonna probably get a concession here. Or, oh, oh, not yet. Okay. This sacrifices another creature, right? Another creature. Okay, cool. I can stomp it and then just play Bone Crusher. Wait, hold on. I can just do this. Oh, oh, I could have killed them if I didn't stomp that. This is just like, oh my god, that's so good. That's 12 damage. Double the double. The double double. The old double double. In and out special. Let's get it. Oh no, what is this? Are we up against like a... I feel like it's going to be like gates or something. Oh, it might just be Grohl Ramp. Funny enough. Okay. Oh, Teamer Ramp. Oh, this is going to be miserable. You know whatever they're playing is going to be the worst time of your life. Because it's these three. They've got a Boreal Grazer. Oh, it's going to get bad. It's going to get bad. I don't know if I need two more lands. So, I've got, I've got all this already. What? That could be bad. Sure. Let's have you take two more, buddy. How you feeling about that one? Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Oh, no, I almost played the wrong one. Yeah, Pogger of Autumn is kind of a banger, though. Like, that card That card is definitely a banger, for sure. Um, I need to find something, though, to use on Augur of Autumn right now. Or else I'm going to be very dead. Because what's a foretell spell? Probably the, the extra turn. Like, this has got to be the extra turn spell. Oh, it's Omnath. Oh, it's worse. Wow, you know, it is Omnath. I knew it. Naturally, this would be like the most miserable deck. I knew it. It's such a... It, as soon as you see these cards, you know you're in for a bad time. God, I hate ramp. Um, sure. Well, what am I going to do, right? Kind of just got to place something out there. Try to block or something. Pass. That's all I can do. Let's see what form of misery you uh, perform here. Probably the ultimatum. Oh. Okay. Oh, and then you play Azusa here. Oh my lord. That's so good. We are definitely in trouble. Don't get me wrong. Our deck is also terrible. <laughs> On top of that. We have no good matchups. We just have a bunch of matchups. That's it. We will work extremely hard for every win we get. They didn't Ugin us, so I guess it's fine. But like, you know. Or, I guess, hold on, I, I might have spoken too soon. Okay. Huh. I can't wait for us to go back to Eldraine. I just, I, I think some of my favorite memories are, are magic cards designed after 2019, 2018. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait for us to go back to Eldraine. This will just be fun. <laughs> oh, God, I am so nervous about going back to Eldraine. And this is the prime example of why. In we go. Wee. Oh, I'm gonna definitely take that. Give me that meatball over there. Oh, the same card again. No. Even though they're not playing any Eldraine cards, this is definitely within the era of Eldraine design. Uh-huh. Okay, that's War of the Spark. That one, that one's fine. Uh-huh. 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 You're ever taking an extra turn, aren't you? <laughs> Wait, really? No nothing? I'm not dead? Why am I not dead? I feel like I should be dead. Scry 3, okay. Uh, sure. I mean, I don't see Thoughtseize helping because they're just going to play everything they draw. I can't foretell this anymore. Sure. I'll let them trade. So they can't gain any more life, thankfully. I don't know if I'm going to regret letting them have an Omnath, but I feel like letting anybody have an Omnath ever is always a regret. But good news, they don't gain any life. Our runs Epiphany, sure. So they're definitely looking for an ultimatum, right? That's, that's for sure happening. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I want. Taste 2. Feels good. I mean, sure, why not? I guess, why not?
Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't even factor that part in. I actually even have more things to do than I thought I did. Uh, they have four damage. That's fine. They can trade all of that in. All right. I'm hoping they don't draw Ugin or an element, uh, ultimatum. Yes! We beat the misery! All right, all right. Let's keep this. Let's keep this. Oh, it's angels. Oh, we need this quake bringer more than you know. All of these are bad for me. I think that's the line. Uh, we get rid of the resplendent, right? We push here. Next turn, we go ahead and foretell this card, which then tucks it away. Then we play it the following turn in hopes. Uh, pass. I mean, if they have Coco, we're, we're, we're done for, right? Like, there's not much I can do about that, so. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold. I would like to present the big one. Quakebringer. Perfect. You don't get anything. You get nothing. I love this. Hello? We might die in the air, but you know, whatever. That's part of life. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. You will have to continue to read this card. You will not get to collected Kaka. You gain no life. You will draw a card, though. I can't stop that. I will give them a 1-1 one -one for this, though. For their troubles. I do need to actually, like, rid the board, though, of the annoying stuff here. I can't get rid of all these things, though. I can only block the ground unit. That's 2-4. I can shock one that's still 3. Okay. I'm just going into combat. All right, I'm gonna pass. Let's see what they do. They keep getting angels that maybe I should have killed this. I need to draw my sweeper though. Cause I, I died this upcoming turn, two, four. They play one more angel, I die. Ah, uh, no, I need to draw my, my sweeper. Give me my board wipe, please. Uh, that actually is okay. I'm not like dead. No angels. Crap, they have two blockers? I guess, wait, no, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. No matter how this plays out, they're dead. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Don't care. This is going to be a miserable matchup, but let's just try to get this on the ground going as early as possible. I don't see how we win this um, because they're Yorion. This is like a very miserable matchup. Also, that's not what I thought it was. Okay. They need to make the artwork between whatever the two mana giant saga is and this one different because they look exactly the same. Therefore, I have kept a five drop that I thought was a two drop. Now, had I shot, okay, I guess if, thinking back to the last game too, had I shocked and thought seized on one, maybe that would have changed the outcome. No, but I'd have less life. I'd be dead for sure. I'd have, I'd have already been dead actually. Never mind. Uh, all right, let's see what they discard. This isn't great. I'm really not excited for this matchup, but you know, maybe I get lucky. I don't, I don't know how I beat them, but they're probably trying to get Agent of Treachery out pretty early from what I assume here. A Sika's Chariot. Oh, that's, that's miserable. Okay. I mean, I got to try for it. So next turn for when the inevitable Agent of Treachery hits the board, I've got to be able to somehow stop. Yeah, I don't think I can, actually. How do I stop them? Because automatically, Reflections is a body. Sure. What does their deck do? Like, I, I'm hoping they do something that just makes another creature or something like that, but I don't think that's happening. Or maybe they play another? Oh, they do have something that just makes another creature. Wild. Okay. I mean, 
I am literally playing the most fair magic there ever was. I am playing the most fair magic. Their deck is so good against ours. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Pop off. There is Luca. You got it. There's no way I can draw it. That's the problem. I need this right now. Uh, all I can do is, oh no, I guess I never factored in the part where they just could hard cast it, huh? Guess not. That's awkward. Okay. Oh yeah, you could just do that. What do you know? Huh? Okay. That's kind of bad. All right. Wait, could that deal it to a Planeswalker? This is really bad, actually. Hold on. Oh, they have Yorion. It doesn't even matter. GG's, they're gonna blink Agent. I'm dead. Uh, Alright, let's keep this. This seems passable. Sure. I'm gonna keep this because, I don't know. I assume that Graveyard Hate is just so important. And this is good against Collected Company, so... I'm assuming I'll need it for that, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, opponent. I see. All right, all right. We're going to go ahead and try to shut down your collected company now. Going to just have to play fair magic. Unless, of course, you have Galta, then I can't beat that. <laughs> I can't even squish uh, a Galta, so you got it. I mean, they can have collected company. That part's fine. I guess, like, they wouldn't have anything like Galta yet. Oh, cool. That's fine. You love to see that. That's great. <laughs> yes, dude. I love it. We just, like, 50 for one. I love that. All right, block. I mean, of course they had the answer for it. That's just how magic works, but... All right, so I'm going to blow up an elf. Actually, what matters more here? Like, they're gonna definitely discard a card. All right, little Scoozy Vert is gone. This will give me the chance to play Quakebringer for cheap. Oh Lord, that's not good for me. So I need to draw an untapped land here, or I'm dead. Or at least not in a comfortable position if I don't draw an untapped land. I don't think I'm dead, because I have the squish, but oh, cool. I did it, I did it. Now I can offer the trade. If you attack with it, so no matter what they're going to draw, that's already going to happen. The unfortunate thing here is I, I think I had to let them because there's no way they would play, they would swing into it, right? So I kind of had to force that. All right, same thing again. I need to draw a sweeper though, legit. There needs to be a sweeper sometime in the near future or I'm gonna be very dead. However, they are taking four to the dome. That's nice. I do like that actually quite a bit. Okay, not bad, not bad. I think we want those two, those aren't bad. I'm gonna actually leave my mana up here so that I can hang back, animate the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, and then block. That card is hilariously miserable. All right, Eldrain, can't wait to come back. Would be a shame if we were coming back to that plane, you know what I'm saying? Please, not a land. All right, sick. They don't gain any life. They can't gain any life, so they're dead on their upkeep. So they have to kill me this turn. We countered Great Henge, the most problematic part, the part where they gain life. It's why everyone hates the card, right? <laughs> it's it's why it's why we hate the card. Maybe, maybe I read Great Henge wrong. They're getting swatted so hard right now. Like, I, I, I think the most common complaint I've heard about Great Henge is just, they just keep gaining two life every time. You know, that's that really is what, like, pushed it over the top. And I, I get it. I understand. Okay, get in there. 
that we blocked? Okay. <laughs> we want this. This seems good. This allows me to fatal push and also invasion of the giants. We have Thrix. We don't have anything else to do, but I think this is still good. Um. Yeah, let's just go ahead and pay two life and pass. Make him think we're Rakdos or something like that. Giada, exactly one of the targets you gotta pick off early. Although, I don't know if we're fast enough to beat Angels. We need to find... There it is. Okay, cool. We found Quakebringer. So, we're going to suspend this card. And then, we're going to just go ahead and immediately tuck it away, right? Which will then give me a lot to play with, actually. We have to shut down their life gain plan fast. Yeah, that's one of the main things you don't want to see. So... All right, so next turn, we're hoping to just jam Quakebringer. They have collected company, so I have to be mindful here. If they gain eight life, they're exactly 26. Assuming that they Coco get double angel here, I'm hoping they don't have Valkyrie plus. Oh, that that that's okay. This is fine. Yeah, this is all fine. Okay. This, however, will grow their board, which is problematic. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're good. We're gaming. I mean, this is fine. I'm going to wait until they try to, like, do something. But I think I want to save the Fatal Push for our Bishop more than the Giada itself. And I know that they can't target this with uh, Skyclave app. Or not. And anything that cares about one drops into, Right? Like, don't care about it. Fudge. They do have it. Sure. They won't gain any life, thankfully. They will grow, though, massively. Shutting off all their life gain will be pretty major here. Let's go ahead and make him discard whatever that last card is. Alright, perfect. We got rid of the angel. We know it's not Coco. Now I can go ahead and what? Let's see. If I can just get rid of everything at four, I think that's okay. They swing in. That's not the end of the world. They are just attacking in the air. I think we can win this race, actually. Sure. Um, let's pass. So now we can block, right? I essentially want to try to get away with just playing uh, Meatball Massacre for th uh, like three. Sick. They gain no life. They do get some bodies, but luckily I can just go ahead and Meat Hook for three, keeping everything that I've got on board. Wait a minute. Three. So if I do this for one, right? Then I play Calamity Bearer. That's 10. That's 18. So that's GG's. Oh, wait. No, but I shrink my own creature. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think this is still, like, pretty decent. So, sure. They're at one. They die on their upkeep. And if anything of mine dies, they die. I don't think there's a way we could lose here. Nice. Get bodied. So the deck... So with games that we did play on stream, uh, we got bodied pretty hard. But while filming the video, uh, we got lucky we didn't run into anything that was low on the ground. So like, let's just say one drops, uh, uh, whatever. Anything that comes down before turn three does not, like, we just can't deal with it unless we get lucky and draw Fatal Push and things. Quite often, things get underneath us and that is the nature of the giant deck. However, uh, it was fun to like body some of the angel decks and things like that and steal wins against Omnath, which should probably be us anyways so uh and and you may as well just concede against control because you're not going to be as i think back to it this deck has no good matchup it's just fun to play so never mind try it if you like but otherwise eh. so thanks for watching this video and as always i appreciate y'all supporting the stream uh, the channel uh in any way shape or form uh watching any of my content fish or tuning into my stream so thanks for watching and i'll see you at the next video peace